This will be for the con assignment dependent probability. Okay, for most of these, you're just multiplying the probabilities. So it says, in a class of 10, there are two students who forgot their lunch. If the teacher chooses two students, what's the probability that both of them forgot their lunch? So you're just multiplying the probabilities. All right. So I'll leave a blank space here for each probability. All right. The teacher's choosing two students. Okay. So the first probability will be for the first student. And the second probability will be for the second student. Okay. And we want to find out the probability they both forgot the lunch. For the first student, you have two students out of 10. Okay, so that's just going to be 2 over 10. And for the second student, well, we, we already chose one student that forgot his or her lunch. So this number decreases by 1. And we chose one from the total of 10. So this number also decreases by 1 after we make the first choice of the first student. So now the probability of the second student for getting the lunch is going to be 1 out of 9. So we're just multiplying those probabilities. Okay, multiplying uh, fractions, multiply the numerators, 2 times 1. Multiply the denominators, 10 times 9. Okay, I don't think they make you reduce the fraction, so I'm going to I'm going to try two over ninety. All right, in the box, two slash ninety. Okay, so they don't make you reduce. All right, a bag contains two red, two green, and four blue marbles. If we choose a marble, then another without putting the first one back. What is the probability that the first will be red and the second will be green. Okay. So again, we're just multiplying the probabilities. The first one has to be a red. And the second one has to be a green. All right. So the total here. Two plus two plus four, that's going to be eight. All right. So the probability of choosing the red, it's going to be two out of eight. All right. Now, for the second marble, once we chose one marble, the total decreases by one. Okay. So we started with eight marbles, but we chose one already. So now the total is down to seven. All right. So now the second choice, we want to get a green. It's, we have two green marbles, so it's going to be two out of seven. Okay, multiplying fractions. Two times two is four. Eight times seven is 56. Enter that in the box. 4 slash 56. Some of these you have to read carefully. Okay. Captain Emily has a ship. The ship is four furlongs from the dread pirate Ashley and her merciless band of thieves. All right. That's unnecessary information. If her ship hasn't already been hit, Captain Emily has probability of one half of hitting the pirate ship. If her ship has been hit, Captain Emily will always miss. If her, if her ship hasn't already been hit, Dread Pirate Ashley has probability of one out of six of hitting the captain's ship. If her ship has been hit, Dread Pirate Ashley will always miss. If the captain and the pirate each shoot once, the captain shoots first, what is the probability that the captain hits but the pirate misses? All right, let's see. So we're going to have two blank spaces again. 
All right, I'm running out of room here. So the captain shoots first, okay? Probability that the captain hits. So I'm just gonna write C hits and the pirate misses. So I'm gonna write P miss, okay? Captain hits, pirate misses. And it says the captain shoots first. So let's see, the captain hits. If her, sh and, and she shoots, the captain shoots first. So if her ship hasn't already been hit, and captain has a probability of one half of hitting the pirate ship. All right, one half of hitting. So the probability that the captain hits is one half. What is the chance that the pirate misses? Well, let's see. It says the captain shoots first, okay? And if the captain hits, that means the pirate ship got hit, okay? And it says, if for the, uh, let me see, for the pirate, for the pirate, okay? It says, if her ship has been hit, Dread Pirate Ashley will always miss, always, okay? That's 100%. And we know that 100% equals one. So the probability that the pirate misses is 100% or one, okay? Because it said the captain shoots first. If the captain hits, that means the pirate ship got hit, okay? And it says if her ship got hit, she will always miss. So one half times one, of course, is just one half. So in the box, I'm gonna type one slash two. All right, just click in the box, one slash two. All right, class of seven, five students forgot the lunch. If the teacher chooses two, what is the probability that neither forgot the lunch? Okay. If you have five students out of seven that forgot the lunch, that means two of those had lunch or brought lunch, whatever you want to call it, all right? So the teacher chooses two students, probability that neither forgot the lunch, all right? So we have the first student and the second student. Okay, for the first student, it says neither forgot the lunch. In other words, in other words, both had lunch. All right. So for the first student, the probability that he or she had lunch, that's gonna be a two out of seven. Okay. And then when you choose one student, the total number for the next choice decreases by one. So the total has gone from seven to six because we chose one student already, okay? And we want the, uh, the probability the second student also had lunch. We already chose one student that had lunch, so this number also decreases by one. So for the second student, it's gonna be one out of six. Two times one and seven times six. All right, you don't need to reduce. So it's gonna be two slash 42. Two slash four two.